Hello Geminis and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for June 24th through the 30th of 2019. Um, alrighty my lovely Geminis, so I'm just going to start this off with a couple messages and then we'll finish off the video with the rest of the messages, okay? Because I just want to get right into this. Um, so um, if you want to enter for a chance to win a free 30 minute reading guys, this is the last week to do so, which is why I'm going to announce it at the beginning. Um, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel to share a video or share the channel on social media. Email me at dkutero at gmail.com. Then again, my email is below um, this video in the description box along with all the other information you'd need to book a reading with me. So um, you can find that there. And again, you just have until the 30th and I will be announcing the winner for the free half hour reading. Um, on July 1st. So make sure to um, subscribe, share, and then email me guys, okay? Um, also, um, I'm going to be using the cat tarot this week. We're going to be taking the weeklies a little bit later, a little bit easier. Um, we just had a very significant loss. Um, unfortunately, um, our little guy Ravi, we had to put him down. It was very, it's been a very difficult week. Um, so I've been taking it easy with my readings. So if you're waiting for a private reading, um, just know that I'm getting to it. I have you on the list. Um, I've just been taking a little bit slower and just monitoring my energy because I don't like doing readings when I don't feel fully connected. I mean, obviously, like, why would you? Um, so anyways, um, we're going to use, use the cat tarot here in honor of little Rav because we miss him very dearly and he was so loved and... This deck is adorable. <laughs> it was actually a gift for my sister for my birthday, so it's a pretty new deck. Um, so let's take a look at what is coming in this week for you, what we can expect throughout this week, June 24th through 30th. As you guys know, I just like to do general spiritual messages and see what comes out, and then we'll look at some general love and romance. All right. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 24th through 30th. This is your energy this week, Gemini. Come on, we gotta get one out here. They're not flying out. I feel like you guys might be feeling a little bit tired. Seven of Wands. Interesting. Yeah, and that's why. <laughs> Your energy is having to deal with a lot of other things right now. You're dealing with a lot of people's crap, probably a lot of, um, just a lot of responsibilities that have piled up. You have to deal with a lot here. Um, as you can see, this cat is pushing off all of these mice, and that takes, you know, concentration and... <laughs> And energy, I mean, not for him, but I mean, that's what it's supposed to mean, which is why I'm, I mean, this deck is just, <laughs> it takes all the cards and I feel like adds a lighter, cuter flair to it all, so I really enjoy it. Um, stepping into cancer season, which is kind of, as a cancer rising, this is like a soft, warm hug for me <laughs> coming into this season, finally. Um, out of Gemini season, I have like no air in my chart, so air seasons are always like, ouch, wow, what's happening? Um, you guys... Again, we're very busy with a lot of revelations, a lot of, you know, stepping up here, um, and now you might be feeling a little bit tired, understandably so. So, Geminis, what's in your environment? Queen of Wands, your cards are not flying out that fast. Yeah, again, um, look at how it's sleeping. I know the Queen of Wands is all about play and, ooh, um, you know, a little bit of a lighthearted, more romp around, having fun you know, communicative leadership type energy, but she's sleeping in this card. She's taking a rest because you guys are the queen and you can take a rest here. So you have, I mean, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. I'm just saying, um, you know, you've mastered something here. You're, elite, you're in a great leadership position and this is a lot of wands energy, a lot of communication, a lot of fiery, like moving forward, getting things done, doing what you got to do here, um, creative endeavors. So you guys have really pushed forward here and you deserve to take a little bit of a break. Six of pentacles there. Um, you're probably, may, you might be getting back in some money here, might be able to spend some money out on some food, help others, buy dinner, something for somebody. Um, don't be afraid to spend a little bit of money this week. You will get it back. <clears throat> Also, we could be seeing, again, a lot of, you know, all that hard work that we put in throughout our season. We could be getting some money back for it. Maybe someone's offering us some money. Maybe even a family member I'm getting for some of you. A mother. But it's very nice. There's just a very equal energy here. Knight of Cups. <laughs> I love this card because it looks like he's got, like, a silly face there. Um, 
you know, this is an energy of just dreamy love energy. You might be receiving some wonderful love messages from your partner or somebody this week, or maybe a water sign. Um, I mean, it is cancer season, so it could be that kind of energy as well. You know, taking on a more romanticized approach to things here. So let me get a couple clarifiers here. Clarify the Queen of Wands. So I'm going to want the Queen of Wands for cancer. I must have cancer. Gemini's energy this week. Yeah, the star. Yeah, again, I just feel like you guys need to take a little bit of a rest, do some healing. Um, <laughs> maybe we've had some emotional... Maybe we're feeling so exhausted, we might be feeling a little bit emotional. And I think um, somebody could easily come and tip over our emotions at this point. So make sure, again, you're getting rest, especially at the beginning of the week here. You might be feeling it. You might feel like you have a ton of responsibilities and that everybody's watching you. So get what you, got to do, get what you need to do done. And then take a break and delegate the other things to other people and don't worry so hard about it, okay? Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the messages this week. And, you know, in July, we're coming towards some really um, intense eclipses. We have an eclipse on the new moon, eclipse on the full moon. It's going to be a really intense month here. Um, and it's really, you know, throwing us into this totally different energy for the second half of the year. And that Sagittarius full moon really introduced us to that. So if you haven't checked out your Sagittarius full moon reading, those messages are not just a week. They're not just for that day or a couple days before and after it. Those messages were for um, before the Sagittarius full moon, like a week or so. And then all, it's going to go all the way until August, September, all those energies that we picked up on those changes. So please go check those out. Those are some really big spiritual messages. Um, again, those are the Sagittarius full moon readings because then we get the hermit in the middle. And the whole reason I bring that up is because he's there. Look, at we have the, um, the Eye of Horus here and we have the cat in this bag. So there is deeper knowledge inside of this place. You know, by going within here, I mean, I know it's a cat playing in a bag, but it's about going within. It's about going within and taking some time out for yourself, resting to heal. So all these together, and it's so strange because the Queen of Wands almost never means that for me. Literally never. But in this case, you know, she fell asleep playing. So you don't want to fall asleep working. <laughs> you want to fall asleep on the job. So take a break. Go within. Take the time out this week that you need to. You guys have been so busy, probably doing so many things. You probably went on vacation. You probably went out, did a bunch of things, uh, went out um, with friends. You were probably just very socially busy lately. You've had a lot going on, and it's time for you to take some necessary time for yourself. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Yeah, okay, the chariot. As we enter um, cancer season, yeah, we're getting this wonderful sense. I don't know. I feel like this isn't a bad season for you guys. I mean, sometimes I feel with Taurus, I don't know, Taurus, Gemini. I mean, all the signs, you know, sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable when we shift into that next season because we're not, we're next to that sign. We really aren't that sign unless you are um, on the cusp, in which case, like, with me, I love Aries season. I love Taurus season. Um, I actually love Aries season more, <laughs> um, but... And they're always good for me, and so is cancer. But I feel some of you guys might be feeling a little bit withdrawn and, you know, needing to, you know, take on that cancer energy of going back into your shell to retreat for a little bit, to rest, to recuperate, to um, evaluate, you know, what how we've grown here, you know, what we got to do for the future. Um, do we need any help? Again, we could have some people coming in to help us here because we might need to take a little bit of extra time. So you might need to take a day off or something and ask somebody to take your shift or um, help you out here. The chariot says, don't try to ride two horses one ass. If you need to um, heal yourself, if you need to get in back in touch with that Knight of Cups energy, um, you know, do so. Take care of yourself. Get back in touch with your emotions. There's a wonderful sense of um, riding into a really dreamy place emotionally and um, in our heart sense, you know, in terms of relationships, etc. Friendships, relationships. There's a wonderful dreamy sense of... Um, just a lot of, you know, watery, lovey energy here, a lot of equal reciprocation. Um, but again, with the Hermit at the center of your reading, make sure to take time for you to do what you need to at this time because the Hermit needs to take time for himself. He needs to kind of go within to really look at the situation from a different perspective because um, we might not have been seeing things, you know, the way that we should have. Okay, um, it's really, you know, saying that a lot can be gained but simply um, taking a step back and watching, okay? Um, it's really saying that, you know, we need to do some soul searching here that could lead us to some new revelations that could help us push forward where we need to, to make those necessary, you know, oh, if I put money in here, I'm going to be able to, you know, see this grow later on. Some of you guys are making important investments, important decisions that are going to come back to you in the future that you know are very good here. Like this cat who's sleeping with all his, um, 
his snacks right there, his kitty treats. <laughs> so I really like this. Um, it's a nice reading for you guys. As you enter Cancer season, it's kind of, it's not, it's not too rushed. You know, we're taking a little bit of a slower approach. Things are, you know, a lot more um, emotionally centric, a lot more based on, I mean, Cancer season is about emotions. There's a reason can't people call Cancer's baby. Um, <laughs> and as Cancer rising, I'm aware of this. It's okay. Um, so let's go on to love here. I'll use the, I'm going to use the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck for you guys for love, okay? Love and romance energy, and love and romance energy. Do check out your love reading for June, that is up, as well as your mid-monthly. Your mid-monthlies are up, guys. Those are more general focused um, messages for the first, I'm sorry, for like the 15th through the end of June. We'll be doing July readings, so don't worry about it. Working on it this week. We're just taking it slow. Love and romance energy for Gemini's this week. Yeah, your energy is looking for, you know, why isn't this why isn't this progress? You know, I thought this was coming in. I thought this was happening. I thought we were at this point here. What happened here? Yeah, two of pentacles reverse. You might need you might be wondering if somebody's worth it, you know, whether we need to just drop this or not here. Um, maybe we thought we would see some progression within a relationship and we just have not seen that here. The Two of Pentacles reverse, you know, whenever I see the Two of Pentacles reverse, something is indicated, you know, needing to be dropped here. There needs to be something released, let go of, you know, something is not the way that it should be. Um, it does feel like maybe we felt like somebody's been disorganized, somebody's been neglectful of us, honestly, or we can't really predict what's going on, you know, with them. So are, do we hold on to this? Do we not hold on to this? What are we really juggling here? What are we waiting for to come into fruition? And for a lot of us, again, I think this has a lot to do with, it almost feels like futile efforts. Like, why did this person, they're not doing anything, so maybe I shouldn't. They dropped the ball, they dropped the pentacle, why should I hold on to it? Did I say four, two of pentacles? I meant to say four of pentacles. That's all the time. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting used to this deck, and it's bright because it's still the morning, so I didn't see those on there. I, didn't, I couldn't read that from um, where I am right now. I'm not wearing my glasses. So, sorry. Four of pentacles reversed, though. Again, there does feel to be some type of, again, like I was saying, mistrust and loss. So it is the same energy. I'm not going to drop that part. So I just feel that there is mistrust here, you know. You know, am I going to see this progress? I'm not really sure I, what this, if I should put these pentacles in this basket. Maybe I should take them back. Maybe you're not really that loyal. Page of pentacles. And I always see that as really interesting. Like, we're almost like, okay, well, I have this pentacle. Like, what do I do with it? Like, where do I go with this now? Um, I think I want to move forward with this, but do I, you know, let's literally evaluate this because look at, he's not really moving. He's sitting, he's looking at the pentacle, evaluating it, um, trying to understand it here and understand its value. There's a lot of pentacles here, which is crazy to me. King of swords. Um, we have a decision that we got to make here for sure. I'm going to pull a couple of clarifiers for love and romance energy for you guys. Um, let's see. Four of pentacles. Let's do the seven of pentacles, four of pentacles reverse here. Clarify what's bringing up these energies. Nine of wands. I, yeah, again, we're on edge. We don't really know what to expect from a situation, but we don't really feel like it has a lot of grounding. Again, we're not really sure where the loyalty lies. I think this is mostly, I'm feeling more of a, a single situation here where, you know, you thought you were coming into a relationship. You thought this was going somewhere. And now all of a sudden you're like, wait, What? Or maybe if you guys have been trying to, if you thought this person was going to ask you to move in with them or something was going to happen there, you're feeling like, okay, well, maybe they, I don't know if I can trust them now. Like, I'm not sure what they really want here. Do I fight for it? Do I not fight for it? It kind of feels like you're on edge and you're feeling a little bit defensive because somebody hasn't solidified something. Somebody hasn't stepped up here. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. We're waiting for somebody else on edge here. Ace of Pentacles, there it is. Um, it's about an offer. Again, it's about that solidifying, you know, moving in together, the proposal, the where is this going? Does this relationship have a solid ground here? Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Swords. What are you guys doing here? 
there's the queen of pentacles there's so much pentacle energy so some of you guys again are dealing with an aquarius or a taurus he has like you know placements like that god i love these decks i love this deck it's so so beautiful um wow sometimes i just like to appreciate it uh but yeah there's a lot of things you get we're concerned about a solidifying relationship about the stability of a relationship and where it's going right now um and for those of you again who are single you're worried that you know either an earth sign or an, an um or an air sign here is, you know, a different air sign possibly. Maybe another Gemini, but I'm feeling more Aquarius or Libra. Maybe more Capricorn or Taurus here. But we're having some issues um, in terms of understanding what this person is bringing to the table. But there is a switch. You guys might be worried about this step up here. You might be worried about what this really means. You know, if I put my... Again, some of you guys, this is more of a worry of, you know, as we step into this new period here, as we solidify this relationship, as we, you know make this real as we you know talk about moving in together moving together you know like pooling our finances getting married having a child you know there is a lot of concern for are we ready for this do we have the money do we have everything that we need here i don't know if i can trust this situation i don't know if there is how it's going to really work out and you're very defensive you're very on edge because you don't know how it's going to work out you don't know how it's about to turn out um however you know again i'm saying if you guys are have, trying to have a child this could be the week if you guys are really worried about it and it hasn't been working out, this could be the week I'm getting for some of you, honestly, especially with, I just, I mean, the messages here really kind of scream that, but, um, all in all, this isn't a week that asks you to make a decision of, about solidifying a relationship about, you know, this is about focusing on that, you know, why are we afraid of it? What brings up these fears? Um, why do we feel the seven of pentacles about it? Why are we waiting for something to turn out better here? It's saying to keep on pushing through and to work on it and to maybe unburden how we really feel about the situation, what we really want, what we really need, instead of waiting for somebody else to read our mind and figure it out, okay? So, interesting, Gemini's, interesting. Let's get um, a Romance Angel Oracle card for you and then a Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, this popped right out, guys. We're going to take it. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So um, some of you guys, again, we're so worried. You're like, I don't know if they're my soulmate. I don't know how I feel about them. Are they a soulmate? Are they not? Um, and again, don't get too caught up on the word soulmate. Just like I always say, don't get caught up on the word twin flame. Both of them are wonderful, but um, if they are not healthy, then they're not healthy and you should drop it. <laughs> um, but soulmate, I mean, again, the terms aren't important. It's the point is that this is a very wonderful love relationship that does offer support, that does offer a, solid, um, a solidity and a really wonderful sense of love here. Um, engagement. Like I was saying, guys, some of you guys are literally getting engaged or taking that next step in a relationship or we're really having conversations about it this week. If somebody isn't offering you that step up, it's either you or you guys are having a very big conversation about it. Um, or again, finding out you're pregnant, finding out, you know, you got the house, you were approved for this, you were approved for this mortgage, you were approved for this loan, and now you can step forward. You know, this is a really wonderful week in terms of getting to step up in a more solidified, almost mature way in relationships. Okay, so I really do like this, honestly. Um, let's see, and again, guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, definitely check out your moon sign for the Sagittarius full moon reading, and definitely check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for your weeklies, your mid-monthlies. Um... Okay, it might resonate better with you. That's why I do many different readings because there's always different messages because there's different energies I pick up on. So I'm not reading for the same Gemini every single time. It's not like that. You guys go through similar things, but you have different placements, so it's always going to be different. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Let's see what the Stacey DeMarco deck has to say. Advice and guidance from spirit. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know? Your higher selves from spirit. Oh, that need to come through for Gemini's. Oh, ghost, regret. I'm just gonna take this one. All right. So it um, let's see. Should the ghost come gliding into your life during divination, it may indicate that you have some regrets to let go of. Holding grudges or regrets is burdensome work and it weighs us down eventually. By taking actions to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We can begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. Beautiful, beautiful messages, guys. So again, let go of what was, forgive yourself, let things go, don't hold on to regrets at this time. 
um, already Gemini's so those are your messages I'm gonna um, finish this up with some messages from the channel um, some important announcements here if you want to get 20% off of anything um, that you can order on Teespring because um, I do have my Teespring up now I'm gonna be adding more designs to it um, I did make those all myself and you guys can get 20% off until the 30th of June using the code full moon capital F capital M um, okay, so definitely use that when you go to check out on Teespring for Digu Tarot. And definitely go check out my designs, guys. I'm so excited to share them with you. I've got more coming. It's just been kind of a tough week. It's been a tough time lately. So I'm trying to get all this stuff out, and I'm trying to get it all back together now. But, um, it's been tough. So, um, thank you guys so much for all of your messages. Thank you so much for all of your support, my lovely Geminis. And if you haven't, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you want to enter that contest for a free for a free 30 minute reading just make sure to subscribe share the video and email me before june 30th and yes i will know if you do or don't actually subscribe um sorry or do or don't actually um share the video i will know that um but anyways guys thank you so much check out your other weeklies check out your mid-monthlies check out the sagittarius full moon reading big big spiritual messages there especially so definitely check that out guys and have a blessed week